Good morning, I'm Denise Perez. And I'm Tyson Keanu. And this is Spartan Shield News. Spartan's opinions on the mask mandate, a feature on the women of HP, and are you smarter than a fifth grader? After COVID cases dropping and transfer rates decreasing, California has lifted its mask mandate in many places, including schools, and imposed a strong recommendation. Here with more is reporter Jose Vicaña with student opinion. Hi, I'm reporter Jose Vicaña, and I'm here with fellow Spartan Melanie Ramirez. So, Melanie, how do you, as a student, feel about being able to remove your mask? Well, on one hand, I feel the relief of not having staff constantly yell at um, people to put their masks on all the time. But on the other hand, I feel like the timing of this decision was really bad due to the recent surges in other countries. Do you think it is wise for the students and staff to be without a mask on? No, I don't think it's the safest idea because things are so recent that it can start to spread very quickly, especially that we're so close to a bunch of people. Will you both be keeping your mask on for the rest of the school year? Yes. yes. Hi, I'm here with Ms. Ramirez Gomez. So, Ms. Ramirez Gomez, as a staff member, how do you feel about being able to walk around without a mask on? Well, honestly, at first I was nervous because I've been, you know, my, me and my family have been very safe and I felt like the masks are keeping us very safe as well. So at first I was nervous, but now, you know, I'm getting more comfortable. So, you know, sometimes I take it off when I leave, when I go outside, not with my students. I still keep it on when I'm inside with my students. So do you think there's a positive side to the mask mandate being lifted? I think the positive thing is that if they're lifting it, it's because things are improving. So I think that makes me feel better. And I think little by little, we're going to get there. So I think it has to start somewhere. And those that feel comfortable can take it off. And those that don't, we still have the right to keep our, our mask on. Will you be keeping your mask on for the rest of the school year? I believe so. As of now, I feel like I will be. If things get really, you know, things really, really improve by the end, who knows? But for now, I am. Great to hear what our fellow Spartans think about the mask mandate. Now, in the spirit of Women's History Month, we have reporter Margarita Ariaga highlighting some of the great women we have here on HP. Hey Spartans, I'm your reporter Margarita Ariaga and I wanted to share that March is Women's History Month and we decided to celebrate by showing off our beautiful teachers and staff. We would like to take this time to highlight our hardworking, independent, and ambitious women of HP. All women deserve more recognition for everything they do. Thank you all for the wonderful and welcoming environment you create for our students at HP. Thank you for always being there for your students and comforting students whenever they need help. Thank you again for everything. HP appreciates you. Glad to see some of the amazing women on campus being recognized. As high schoolers, most people would expect students to know facts that a fifth grader would know. Here to test your knowledge is reporter Melissa Padachi with Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Hello Spartans, this is reporter Melissa Padachi um, asking HP students questions to see if they're smarter than a fifth grader. Hi, I'm here with... Braulio. Derek. Okay, so the first question is, how many continents are there? And can you name them? <laughs> Sacramento. <laughs> oh no, 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 there's 49. There's 49 continents. Um... Nevada, California, Texas, <laughs> New York. Who invented the light bulb? Thomas Edison. Okay. Thomas Edison. You agree? Yeah, I agree. Okay. Uh, what do humans um, inhale and exhale when they breathe? That's easy. They inhale oxygen uh, and then they exhale carbon dioxide? Yeah, okay. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Um, how many states make up the U.S.? <coughs> 49. 59. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. No, I'm agree with Barley. Bra Barley. The correct answer is 50. 
Disney. They made a new state or what? I think they did. In Puerto Rico. Not Puerto Rico. They made um. um In the U.S. What's that one state called? Hawaii. No. Um. <laughs> Alaska. Not Alaska. Um. I, when it, what was it last? <laughs> it's that one state no one talks about. It was always. No, I remember 49. No, My teacher was, told me 49. It's always 15. What is this in it? What? That was right. Hey, pass me that right there. No, oh, that's no. cinnamon. Pass me it. That's cinnamon. She's not talking about the spice, she's talking about a cinnamon. Oh, cinnamon? Oh, it's like. It's like the opposite of a word, so if I say hi. It would be hello. Yeah, I, do I, I don't even know what a cinnamon is. It's a cinnamon. A cinnamon. I don't know what it is. Hi, I'm here with Alexander. Manny. Okay, so the first question is who invented the light bulb? Albert uh, Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> no, <bro>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do it. I don't know. 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 I don't I <laughs> yeah. Where's that from? And then two words that are but they're like mean different things. Right? Yeah. Uh, Neil Armstrong was the first man to do what? Yeah. Uh, what is twelve times nine? <laughs> <laughs> we have our sports update with Denise Perez. Hi, it's Denise Perez with your sports update. In sport news, the boys volleyball team played against Garfield where they won 3-2 and played against Roosevelt where they unfortunately lost 3-0. Our baseball team faced against Legacy and unfortunately lost and the softball team faced against Linwood and also unfortunately lost. Last week, our track Team had their track meet where varsity girls placed first place and the boys placed second place. And color guard had their competition where they were bumped up a division and still managed to take first place. And we'd like to congratulate our SRLA runners that ran the LA Marathon. Way to go! In honor of Women's History Month, we'd like to congratulate our women athletes that made it to the All-City teams, Stephanie Villegas and Lorena Moreno, representing from the basketball and soccer teams. That's all we have for today, Spartans. I'm Denise Perez. And I'm Tyson Quijano, and thank you for tuning in to Spartan, Spartan Chill News. News.